what's in that thing. You want a new rat. Deborah Lefebvre, under arrest in Temple Terrace, Florida, for lewd and lascivious battery. Legalese that translates this way. A 23-year-old teacher having sex with a 14-year-old student. A felony with a maximum sentence of 15 years in prison. Did the world crumble at that moment? No. You're still in this state of... I was mad at the fact that they wouldn't let me get my purse out of the car. In fact, I, I was just so arrogant. Just so... God, I shouldn't be back here. I didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. But Deborah soon began to grasp the trouble she was in. During their investigation, police had asked the boy questions to prove that Deborah was his sex partner. He described her tattoos, her tan lines, and another, even more intimate detail. Now, the police needed photos to verify his descriptions. They put me in stirrups like you would um, for... A gynecological exam. It, exactly. And um, I can remember just shaking and trying as hard as I could to clench my legs together to keep them shut. And in fact, the nurse said, because I was crying, and she said, honey, were you raped? And I wanted to look at her and say, yeah, I've been raped. I was raped when I was 13. I'm being raped right now. Forcing my legs apart and doing that. It was complete violation. They could have it's had... evidence, Debbie. But you do understand that they could have had me standing up against a wall... Okay, my, my legs did not have to be spread wide open like that. Those pictures never reached the public domain, but her old modeling shots did. Within days of her arrest, Deborah Lefebvre became one of the most Googled people on the planet, and not everyone thought she was a criminal. There are some people out there who say this is every 14-year-old boy's fantasy. Did you hear that? Yeah, I just think it's stupid. I can't even think of any other word to describe it. I think it's ridiculous. Soon, authorities in Ocala, where the boy's cousin lived, filed another set of charges for the sex acts that took place there. If convicted, Deborah now faced up to 30 years in prison, and she faced the destruction of her marriage. I spent the night in jail, and then the next day is when I, I actually saw him. So he, he knew. Right away, he was just very angry, and I can remember bawling my eyes out. When he was walking out the door, I think I literally grabbed onto his leg and squeezed, and he was dragging me on the floor because I just didn't want him to leave. You knew at that moment your marriage was over? I knew it by his, um, the way that he, he reacted to it. Do you know your career was over? Well, they, they told me, so, yeah. Deborah, the English major, wrote a poem about her predicament. Her restless heart beats abstractly in circles. Her wandering mind prays endlessly for miracles. And it seemed like it would take a miracle to keep her out of prison. The facts in the case were overwhelmingly against her. Deborah's attorney, John Fitzgibbons, planned a novel defense. Here we have a, a woman that by every societal standard can, can get a date, can get a man. Yet she uh, destroyed her career, destroyed her, her marriage. I believe the only logical reason why Deborah Lefebvre did what she did was because of her mental illness. According to three psychiatrists hired by the defense, Deborah has bipolar disorder. Dr. Eric Hollander, who's not associated with the case, is chair of psychiatry at Mount Sinai Medical School in New York City. When women become hypersexual, the, the number one uh, disorder, really, that seems to drive that hypersexuality in women is bipolar disorder. And Hollander says if a person with bipolar disorder is mistakenly treated for depression, as Deborah says she was, the symptoms can actually get worse. They'll have more frequent manic episodes. The manic episodes will be more severe. And the impulsive behavior, like the impulsive sexual behavior, can get significantly worse. It would seem to explain a lot about Deborah. Sometimes so depressed she could barely speak. Sometimes talking a blue streak. Sometimes unable to dress herself. Sometimes dressing provocatively. Sometimes barely able to leave the house. Sometimes driving a hundred miles to have sex in the back seat. But is bipolar disorder an explanation or an excuse? You know what? I don't want to blur the lines between um, doing something as heinous as what I did in being bipolar. But yes, symptoms of bipolar definitely contributed 
to my mind frame. Did you know what you were doing was wrong? At the time, I don't, I don't think I did. Obviously not, because I wouldn't have done it. But in his sworn statement to investigators, the 14-year-old said she told him something quite different. Didn't you say that one of the things that turns me on is knowing that I'm not supposed to be having sex with you? You know what? That's a, there's a few comments that I have heard, and I've, this is the first time that I'm speaking out, um, that are not true, period. Okay, so you never said to him, it's a turn on to me because I know we are not supposed to be having sex. Absolutely. I, no way. I never, ever, ever said that. Deborah Lefebvre, blonde, beautiful, bipolar. Would her explanation be enough to keep her out of prison?